Hello everyone. In this post, we would like to solve a small problem basing on a Coulomb's inverse square law. We are assuming that there are two identical small balls, each one having a mass m and each one having a similar positive charge q and they are suspended by two identical strings each of length l. Now, what will be the separation between them in terms of the given data? That is the question. First of all, why do they get separated? Probably we need to answer why do they get separated. When you have these two charges identical, these two charges are similar in nature. So, between them there will be a repulsion force. That is why they get separated with each other. So, this is M having a charge Q. This is another charge. Again mass M. It is given that the strings are having a length L. It makes an angle theta. Both the sides makes an equal angle theta with the vertical. Then what is the separation between these two charges? Say if this is x, this is x. What is the value of that x or what is the total separation 2x is? That is the question. That is what we need to solve. Let us try to identify what are the forces acting on a bob on a small mass at any instant when they are in an instantaneous equilibrium. We know its weight is acting in downward direction between the two charges there is a repulsion force F. The string becomes tight which is having a tension T. Now I can uh, I need to calculate the value of this uh, angular separation theta. What we can write is we can just extend the line if that is theta this is also theta thus we can resolve this tension into components this also becomes theta so it becomes automatically t cos theta it becomes automatically t sin theta now i can write f is nothing but equal to an equilibrium t sin theta mg is nothing but equal to t cos theta. By dividing these two equations I can get tan theta is nothing but equal to f by mg. Assuming that this angle theta value is small if of course that is a condition if theta is a small assume that there is a given condition in the problem theta is a small value. I can write theta itself is equal to f by mg because if theta is small I know tan theta is close to that of theta itself. I can write the theta value as x divided by L. I can write the theta value as x divided by L. f is nothing but 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q and q q square by separation 2x whole square by mg is also there by simplifying this I can get x by L equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q square by 4x square and mg then I can write x cube equal to q square L by 16 pi epsilon naught and mg and I need to calculate the value of that x itself. So, x is nothing but q square L by 16 pi epsilon naught and mg just by taking a cube root on both the sides. This is how I can calculate the value of x. It is very clear from the triangle law we can also write t square is nothing but equal to f square plus mg whole square. If you want to calculate the tension, you have to calculate it using this formula force square which can be calculated using the Coulomb's inverse square law. M is anyway given for you, right. Somebody may even ask an add on question further like if there is no gravity. In this case, if you have kept it in a lift where there is no gravity. There is no one that is pulling back therefore theta becomes 90 degree the total angular separation between them becomes 180 degree 
and they just become like this q1 and q2 this is the point that i would like to add by applying a coulomb's inverse square law to solve this problem thank you have a happy problem solving